Hey guys, it's Matt from Infinite Explorers, and today we are at Niemeyer's Trailer Sales, checking out the Rockwood 2518S travel trailer. We have Mitch with us, he's going to be giving us a tour of the exterior and interior, so let's go check it out. Yeah, so here at the entry door, um, you've got the nice flip up steps that are going to come standard with all the Rockwood travel trailers fifth wheel so those just flip right up inside the door um, they do have a strut to help assist and so they're really not that heavy to flip up and in and then the door just closes in on, on them which is nice um, you do have an outside tv mount so the tv from inside will come off the mount and you can hook it right here you do have power here and a coax connection as well to hook that up here you've got the switch for your front stabilizer jacks. So this switch is going to operate the front two jacks and then you're going to have another switch in the rear to operate the rear two. So those will just run firm to the ground and help stabilize the camper from shaking. <clears throat> Here you're going to have your nice big pass-through storage compartment. Um, there is going to be a light in here. So lots of storage in here. I'll show you kind of what this stuff is for. Uh, when we go inside but basically these are going to be little meal tables um, for the seating inside you've got your cranks on nice magnets there so you don't lose those so really lots of good storage up in here uh, oh one last thing on the corner here so you do have solar panels on the roof but they do include a plug just on the side of the camper here so if you want to have an additional portable panel that folds up and plugs in right there you can do that. <clears throat> the Rockwoods are going to come standard with two 30 pound propane tanks um, as well as uh, two battery battery case so you've got room for two batteries up front, two propane tanks up front, and then you've got your power tongue jack here as well so this will raise up and down. You do have a nice light on the front if you're hooking up at night. Around here on the driver's side, this switch here is just going to be for the front docking lights. So kind of like an accent light, but again, if you're hooking up at night, they actually do help quite a lot. <clears throat> this is going to be the other side of your pass-through storage. Again, there's going to be a light in there. Uh, moving on down, you're going to have your 6-gallon suburban water heater. So that'll operate off of propane or electricity. Um, you're going to have different water drains underneath the camper. So you're going to have the handle for one of your gray tank drains under here, as well as your fresh water tank drain over there. Um, the Rockwoods do come standard with Goodyear Endurance tires. So those are pretty much top of the line as far as trailer tires go. So they come standard with that. This little hole in the fender or in the, the J-Wrap here, that's actually gonna be to run your slide out in and out manually. So these slide outs tend to be really reliable, but if you ever did have problems, even just like a dead battery, you still have a way to operate that without power. Right here is gonna be all of your water hookups. So you're gonna have your city water connection, your black tank flush, and then this is also gonna be where you pump antifreeze into the camper. So instead of having to disconnect hoses from the water pump or anything like that, they include its own separate connection. There's just a valve inside that you turn, which is really nice. And then back in the corner here, you've got basically your outside shower. There's a detachable hose that hooks right up to here, so you have water on the outside. Moving around to the back, um, you do have a ladder to the roof. So it is a full walk-on roof, so you can get up there and do any service work that you need to do. Um, they're going to come standard from the factory with one 200 watt solar panel, um, but you can add a second 200 watt panel as an option and there's room for more beyond that, but that's what um, is an option from the factory. Um, all the Rockwoods are going to come with the Furion camera mount, so if, it doesn't come with the camera itself, but if you want to add the Furion observation camera, it's all pre-wired and really easy to install. You've got the spare tire on the bumper that can be slid either way or taken off entirely if you want to put it somewhere else. Um, all of the Rockwoods are going to come with a receiver hitch 
So that's going to be good for bike racks or a storage platform. They're rated for 300 pounds. So whatever you want to do with that, as long as it's under 300 pounds. And then coming back around to the uh, passenger side. So here's going to be the switch for your rear jacks. So like we already showed, you have a switch in the front for the front stabilizer jacks. This is the one for the rear. You've got more power outlets back here. This rail right here is actually for an outside griddle that comes with the camper. Um, so it comes with the mount and everything, and you actually have a quick connect propane connection underneath. So you can hook up the griddle and do cooking outside. It also comes with a small metal prep table that'll hook on next to it. So there is room for both right here. And then you've got the slide out here on the passenger side and then moving back around to the entry door, which takes you inside. Inside the 2518 here, as you walk in the door, um, immediately to your right, you're gonna have the bedroom. Um, the nice thing about this camper, it does have kind of a separate closed off bedroom. You do have a barn door here that'll slide shut. Um, you've got your queen bed, fixed bed, not a Murphy bed, um, with storage underneath. So that'll lift up there. Um, one nice thing about Rockwoods, they do a lot of little things really well. So you'll notice like around the lip here, the bed, this is all aluminum framed as opposed to a lot of manufacturers. They have just a piece of plywood there. So little things like that. And then you've got storage under here as well with the drawers that pull out. You do have 110 volt outlets on both sides of the bed as well as USB outlets, um, storage all above the bed, as well as your wardrobe slide out um, there on the left. In the bedroom here, on the left side of the bed down here, you've actually got a switch for your inverter. So Rockwood travel trailers are actually going to come standard with a 1500 watt inverter. And what that means is basically some outlets in the camper will be powered off of your batteries if you don't have 110 volt access. So for example, if you're boondocking somewhere, you can turn that on. And for example, both outlets on either side of the bed will have power even if you don't have access to electricity. There is a TV backer in the wall here. So you can add a second TV and then you've got an extra little pull-out drawer there. <clears throat> Heading back out into the living area, you've got your control panel here. Um, so that'll have, you know, buttons for your slide-out, awning, things like that. There is an app you can download to connect to this so you can operate things such as your slide-outs and your awnings off of your phone. Right above it, you're going to have your solar charge controller. So like I mentioned from the factory, you can get up to 400 watts of solar. That'll run through here. It is a smart charger. So basically there's really nothing you have to do. It'll kind of take care of itself as far as charging the batteries. Um, down here, you have a flip up countertop extension. So if you're cooking or doing prep work, you can flip that up just to give yourself some extra counter space. And then when you don't need it, it just folds down out of the way. Got a nice roll up sink cover, which gives you access to your nice big sink. Thermostat is on the wall right behind the sink here. You do have a three burner stove top, so this glass cover just flips up. And you've got your three burners as well as your oven. Those are all ignited by just the one knob here, so there's no need for a separate grill lighter or anything like that. You do have a, a fan and a light in the hood, and then you've got your microwave up above that. Here you've got your TV, so this is going to be a 12 volt TV, so you can use it even if you do not have um, 110 volt power. It'll just operate off of the batteries. Down below it right here, you've got a little pop-up outlet that just pulls up, and you have some power outlets there as well as USB. And then when it's in the down position, you can actually set your phone on that, and it's a wireless phone charger. You got some nice storage up above there. 
and then some storage down below as well. We got some nice drawers as well as some cabinets. Um, the Rockwoods are going to all come standard with the 12 volt refrigerator, so they'll operate off of the batteries. So what that means is it'll give you a lot of room inside um, as opposed to your regular absorption refrigerator. So they're very big and they cool down very quickly. You know, they're, they're totally cold and ready to go in about an hour. One cool thing about these new refrigerators that are coming with the Rockwoods, you can actually open them from either side. So right there I just opened it with my right hand. Otherwise I can close it, and grab it on the left, and open the door the other way. That goes for the freezer too. So both doors, both doors operate the same way, where you can open them either way depending on where you are. Um, opposite of the kitchen area, you've got kind of your living room seating. So you're going to have these nice theater seats. You've got cup holders and both armrests. In the middle here, you do have some storage, and this, this armrest flips up and you have some storage there, as well as another wireless phone charger. Um, if you remember those table accessories that were in the pass-through compartment, those actually attach right here next to the theater seating. So you can actually just slide those in place and basically have like a TV tray, which are a pretty good size, so if you're eating here or just want to set a glass down or something, you have that. And then lastly, in the back of the camper, um, you do have your full width bathroom. So some nice accent lighting kind of makes for a good night light, as well as plenty of good storage in here as well. You do have a nice three panel shower door instead of like a plastic curtain, it's actually real glass. It was real nice. Lastly, if you actually look in the shower, all the Rockwoods are going to come standard with a shower miser water valve. So basically what that does is if you're camping with limited water, you're not hooked up to city water, when you turn the hot water on, you can flip this valve on the side and it'll circulate water until the water gets hot. And then once the water gets hot, this blue plastic piece here will actually change color to a gray then you can flip this back and have hot water right away without wasting that water, which is a nice touch.